Hey guys, welcome to Excel for Noobs.com. This is a quick series crash course, expedited course on how to use Microsoft Excel for beginners. Um, this tutorial will work for Microsoft Excel 2007, 2010, and uh, the new version Excel 2013. It should also work for some of the older versions, but there, there are a few things and the newer versions of Excel that the older ones don't have. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to cover is just, just a description of Excel, uh, the types of data, data entry techniques, um, different navigation techniques in Excel. I'm going to go over formulas, functions, uh, formatting, graphics such as charts, different worksheet operations, and then how to save and how to print your work in Excel. So it's all fairly simple, but it's um, I definitely consolidated a lot of the the major points that you should know in Excel, or the major um, things that you need to know. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, well, the first thing is just how to open Excel. I'm pretty sure you already know how to do this, but you're going to open up the application. All right, and it opened up with a new work. Uh, new workbook and that's what this is called when you open up um, Excel you're going to open up a workbook now if you already have Excel the application open you can go to file and you can hit new and then click on blank workbook and that will open up a new workbook as well and then up here in the title bar you can see it's titled with a generic name book 2 I can close that and I still have book 1 open. So as you can see you can have multiple workbooks open uh, while you have the application open. <clears throat> Alright, uh, this up here, in the very top, this is called the ribbon. Uh, the ribbon is where you can locate just about all the commands that you're going to need to use in Excel. And what a command is, is a command tells Excel what to do. For example, um, a command would tell Excel to make a certain text bold or italicized it would tell it uh, what font style to be right up in here uh, what size um, so that's basically what a command is and that's you can find most of the commands up here in the ribbon uh, now the ribbon has different tabs you have home which that has most of your um, cell formatting your font fill um, borders and things like that. You have insert, that's where you're going to insert different types of graphics or illustrations, tables, charts, um, word art, equations. Then you're going to have your page layout tab. And that just um, is where you can you can work on different themes or the way you want your page set up. Formulas, then data, Review such as spell check, view. That's how you want to want to view your worksheet, and then developer, which is more advanced, and um, we're not going to really go over that. And then of course you have file, and this is where you save your work, your workbooks, and um, you make pref uh, changes to prefer um, to basically like what your preferences on how you want your workbook want Excel to work. <clears throat> Alright, so another thing is ba basically Excel, as you know, is a, a spreadsheet soft software. So you have cells. That's what these are. These are individual cells. Up here you have column letters, and over here you have row numbers. It's pretty much, I mean, it's not, but there's more than enough cells that you're going to, um, for you to use. It's practically infinite even though it's not <clears throat> all right so uh, a cell address is basically where a column letter meets a row number so the cell address for this cell and I can zoom in I'm pressing control and then I'm rolling up in my mouse to do this but this is a cell address this is cell C6 if I go over here that's cell B4 and I'm just clicking on the cells with my mouse Okay, so that's how you locate a cell. Now, there's different types of data in Excel. The types of data that you have in Excel are numeric values, 
and um, basically numeric values they uh, can describe things such as revenues expenses um, you know different things like that you have text uh, the type text what text does is, is qualitative data such as names addresses street number street names um, things like that and then you have formulas formulas are pretty much what makes Excel so powerful you're basically able to autom automate um, things that you would not be able to do on paper or with the word processing um, software all right so let's just go ahead and get into working with Excel um, and that's going to be data entry basically how to enter data so to enter data into into Excel you can and you can just follow along and pause the video when you need to with me if you want but basically to enter data into Excel you can select a cell just like I'm doing here and enter data so I'm entering in the word employee so all I did was select the cell with my mouse and I entered in a word the word employee um, <clears throat> you can also enter data into the formula bar and that's right here this is the formula bar so I could enter a name here and as you can see it's being entered into that cell and the same goes whenever I enter data into into a cell you can see that it also appears as I type up in the formula bar alright so I'll just go ahead and start com um, complete this entering my data and as far as navigation goes I don't own I don't have to just click on the cell that I want I can use the arrow buttons on my mouse so I just hit the right now I'm gonna hit the down arrow button alright and type a name and I'll hit the down arrow button again and this is gonna be a category as you can see I'm building something I'm am building a table here alright I'm entering a title which I will get to later and then right here I'm entering in quarter one and I could continue entering in the quarters but what I'm going to use is a feature called autofill and as you can see I'm building a sales report so what I do with autofill is I select the cell and since so there's four quarters in a year you can see right here in the bottom right I just put my mouse on the handle and I'm going to drag it over and Excel automatically knows that, you know recognizes a pattern and can complete the series for you so you don't have to keep typing it so it's very efficient okay another thing you may notice right here these uh, names are, are overflowing into the next cell so we want to make them fit now you could um, you could simply drag the cell and make it larger just by clicking on the line as I'm doing there or you can hold your cursor over it and double click and it automatically fits to the right size to where all the content fits within the cell <clears throat> um, another thing you can do to make content fit alright so right here we have our title entered into cell, cell B2 I can merge cells so right there I'm gonna merge I'm, I'm selecting the entire I'm selecting um, cell A2 through cell F2 and I'm going to go up here in the home tab in the ribbon and I'm going to select the merge and center command which is the merge command click the down arrow I'm going to select merge across now I also want to align this so I can click center and middle align if I needed to but it doesn't really make a difference so it's kind of getting into format I'm going to cover formatting a little bit more later alright now I can just enter some arbitrary numbers as you can see I'm using uh, the arrows not 
not the mouse. I find it much more efficient to just navigate through Excel using arrows. And I'm just making these numbers up. They don't mean anything. Just doing it to complete 